Let's talk a little bit more about the text layers. Remember that they're represented by the T. You can't do anything on a text layer besides type. Right now, if I try to do anything on them, it will tell me that it's locked because I have locked these layers. Just for demonstration though, I'm going to go ahead and unlock them. If I try to do anything on these layers besides move them or type on them, then I will change it from being a text layer to being a regular layer. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say that I had my brush tool. Uh, you can see that my mouse has changed to this symbol, which is telling me that I can't brush. And it tells me that the layer must be rasterized before proceeding. Remember to always read the pop-ups when they come up. It may be something really important. And if you don't know what this means, then you need to ask somebody or you need to look it up. Because it will change the type of layer that you're working with. So if I click OK here, watch the layers palette as I do that. Do you see how it changes from being a T to being that transparent layer? This means that this is no longer editable. So if I go back to my type tool and I try to change this, all it's going to do is add a new layer and type on top of that layer's practice. See how it's created a new layer? So that's not what we want to do. So I'll go back into my history and I will undo that rasterize. That brings us back to where we were. The moral of the story here is to always remember to read the pop-ups before you click OK because it might say something really important. You're already familiar with the type tool, so I'm not going to go over that right now. I just wanted to talk about how the layers work for text. Now let's move on to the fun part of this assignment. Click over to the Assemble Snowman folder. Open it by clicking on the down arrow and you'll see several layers. These layers hold all the snowman parts that you can see in the window. I'm going to start assembling the snowman remembering that I need to have the desired layer selected before I can move it and I also need to have the move tool. So let me grab the move tool and I'm going to start moving the different parts of the body. So I'm going to click on head here and it will move the head. If I want to click on scarf next I can move the scarf. Let's find the eyes and move those and you see that we have our first problem. When I move the eyes, I can't see them. This means that I'm going to have to rearrange my layers to make them in the right order and the correct position. So to move the layer, all you need to do is click and drag on the layer. I know that it needs to be in front of the head, so there you go. Might want to put the scarf in front of the head too, so it's overlapping. It's helpful to zoom in, so I'm going to hold down Alt and scroll with my mouse. Zooming in allows it to move slower. Let me zoom back out. And I will continue to move all the parts until my snowman looks like that. Now take a second and follow the fourth set of instructions.